name's Chloe and welcome to my channel. Just be me. Urine of urgency is one of the most magical parts of the human experience, but some is incredibly stigmatized, stereotyped, and misconceived. When we think of ADHD, we usually think of a young boy completely loopy on red cordial. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. And many people, when they think of an ADHD diagnosis, think of it as something that's going to hinder a person's life. They think of it as hindering someone's chances of success. But these five people that I'm gonna show you today show you that that is completely not the case. And in so many cases, ADHD can be the most magical, amazing, wonderful gift. So in today's video, I wanted to look at seven celebrities that have ADHD. I'm the king of the swingers, oh, the jungle VIP. I've reached the top and have to stop and that's what's bothering me. Michael Phelps. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps had a really, really hard time at school, struggling getting his work done and struggling to sit still. Due to his ADHD, he was told by many of his teachers that he would never amount to anything. But his energetic behavior meant that by grade six, Michael was spending about three hours a day in the swimming pool after school. By age 10, he was a nationally ranked swimmer and found his outlet and his refuge in the swimming pool. After his ADHD diagnosis, his mum helped him to reach his full potential by giving him the sports issues of newspapers if he was struggling or didn't want to read and really, really encouraged his swimming. She knew this was something that made him tick. She knew this was his hyperfixation. She knew this was something important to him and it paid off. At the time of his retirement, Michael Phelps was the most decorated Olympian in the world, having 28 Olympic medals, 23 of which were golds. Number two, Simone Biles. Speaking of incredible Olympians, with 30 Olympic medals under her belt, Simone is not only one of the most incredible gymnasts, Olympians, athletes in the world, she literally has four gymnastic moves named after her, but she also has ADHD. Unfortunately, we came to know about Simone's diagnosis because of hackers that leaked into her confidential records, tracing back the fact that she was taking ADHD medication, using this information to prove that she cheated at the Rio Olympics in 2016. But all they managed to prove that Simone was an absolutely incredible athlete who happened to have ADHD, who also happened to be taking ADHD medication since she was a child. Simone has since spoken out extremely positively about ADHD and using medication to benefit you if you need it. Number three, Emma Watson. Diagnosed with ADHD at a young age, Emma Watson is one of the most talented, incredible, kind people in the industry at the moment. She's been in countless films, is an incredible activist, has straight A's at GCSE, and has a degree in English literature from Oxford University. One of the best things about ADHD is our mind's incredible ability to take on so many tasks when they are things that are in line with our hyperfixations, our interests, our loves, our eye sparkles. Very clearly, Emma is an absolutely incredible example of exactly this. Number four, Solange Knowles. Beyonce's younger sister, Solange Knowles, is an absolute vocal powerhouse who happens to also have ADHD. Solange told interviewers that her hyperactivity and often disorganized speech often made people think that she was high. But after two different ADHD diagnoses, she went to the second one because she didn't believe the first doctors. She's now a proudly ADHD woman and is convinced that many, many people in the music industry also have ADHD. I mean, it makes complete and utter sense. With hyperfixation on what's important to us, creativity, energy, and strong wills, it only makes sense that the music industry is going to be absolutely dominated by by people with ADHD. Number five, Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is one of the most talented, enthusiastic, quirky actors, and I think his ADHD plays a very, very big part in that. Something I find absolutely fascinating about Johnny Depp in particular is his connection with neurodivergent people. If you ask so many neurodivergent people who their favorite actor is, I can guarantee you a very much majority of them are going to say Johnny Depp. I feel like people that are neurodivergent have like a neurodivergent radar. We radiate towards each other, we gravitate towards each other. It's like we know when someone else is neurodivergent without actually knowing. And I feel like that's really happened with people that have ADHD, autistic people, all that sort of jazz, and Johnny Depp, and I absolutely love that. Johnny Depp so boldly embraces the quirky and the different in himself, in his characters, and other people, and so many of the characters that he plays are definitely ADHD, neurodivergent, and autistic coded. Number six, Zoe Deschanel. Zoe, who is in some of my favorite films of all time, Bridge Terabithia and Elf Come Three, has revealed her ADHD diagnosis on her own blog, where she speaks about crafting and how it helps her focus and her concentration levels. With her acting career, her crafting, and touring with her band, Zoe is such a prime example of the energy and creativity that people that have ADHD can have. Zoe's also said that she likes to focus her unfocused mind by quick craft activities. Something that I understand entirely, I hate long craft activities. If something is going to take me more than one session to do, your girl ain't gonna do it. I want it done now. <laughs> Number seven, Will I Am. Seven time Grammy Award winning singer Will I Am has said that music has been how he's learned to be able to cope and work with his ADHD. He uses music as his ADHD superpower. For him, and so many others in the world with ADHD, he considers music to be his therapy. It helps him to bring control to thoughts while keeping his mind focused. So that's it, there you go. There are seven different celebrities with ADHD who are all doing incredible things and are all so, so incredibly successful. Which of these did you already know? 
know. And did any of them surprise you? And are there any other celebrities with ADHD that you know about? Let me have a fixate on them with you. I want to know about other amazing people that are just like us. Neurodivergency can be an absolute superpower when you look at our gifts, when you look at our talents, and when our needs are met. These people are just seven examples of the millions upon millions of people out there who are absolutely rocking it because of having ADHD, because of being autistic, because of being neurodivergent. Neurodivergency is magical. We need it. And if you have a look at anyone that is absolutely thriving in these industries, I can guarantee you there's a little bit of spark there. I can guarantee you there's neurodivergency there. Neurodivergency is magical. And we see that magic in the people that we love and that we support and that we're fans of. So I think it's time that we start seeing it in ourselves as well. I love you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys are staying kind to yourselves. I hope you guys are staying kind to other people. I hope you guys are staying hydrated. I love you guys so incredibly much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just be me.